So the last step in the process is now to create the quiz with random sections. From the Manage Quiz area, click on New Quiz. Give the quiz a name. Click Add and Edit Questions. Click New and then Random Section. So let's say in this case I want random section for multiple choice questions and a random section for true and false. So I'm going to do MC Questions. Click Save. Now click on the name of the section you just created. Click the Import button. In the Source Selection, choose the questions from the library that you want to add, which was Quiz 1. You'll get a list of the questions here. You can click the top checkbox and then uncheck the ones and you'll notice the ones that are not that are true and false are at the bottom here so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to check if I want just multiple choice there is no filtering here I'm going to choose the ones I want multiple choice and I'd have to go through and check all of those Oops. when you get them all checked click Save Now you'll get to put in how many questions do you want from this list of questions. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it'll tell me 12 questions. So maybe I want five from this list. Then click Save. That's real important. Then if I want to go and add another uh, random section, I click the breadcrumb link to take me back to the Chapter 1 quiz area. And I go through the same process, New, Random Section, And again, it's just the same process now. Click on the name of the section. Click Import. Choose the library of questions that I want. And then I can go down to my true and false questions. And again, select the ones that I want there by clicking the checkbox next to their name. I'll go ahead and click Save once I get them all done. Again, tells me how many questions I have and maybe I want five from here. Click Save. And if I want more, I go back to the breadcrumb links. When I'm completely done, I click Done Editing Questions. This will take me back into the quiz, Edit Quiz area. And here I can see each of my random sections, how many questions are being chosen from the pool of questions in the parentheses. When I get my quiz completely done, and I can also go through the restrictions, assessments, and all the other settings, I click Save and Close.